We continue to work our way through the brackets here in Ireland. The Polish national team singing their anthem. They take on Hong Kong here in the platinum bracket quarterfinals on LAC Sports Network. Poland emerging from Group D in third. Hong Kong emerging from Group E, unblemished thus far here in Ireland in tournament play. We are going to get you set and ready to go as both sides will accordingly as they sing their national anthems. Then we'll get you to the face-off in just a moment. You're watching LAC Sports Network. LAC Sports Network brings you 64 games, the men's U21 World Lacrosse Championship over the course of 10 days. And we have two more platinum bracket games on tap before today is done, this Wednesday of action in Ireland. At noon, you'll see the China and Uganda game. And then finally, at 1 p.m. Eastern, we'll bring you the Wales-Sweden matchup as we get this platinum bracket semi-final settled. Live lacrosse from Limerick, Ireland, all day long right here on LAX Sports Network. Teams come out to meet each other in the middle, and this should be a very good matchup, especially at the face-off X. 61% for Hong Kong so far in the tournament, 60% for Poland, so look forward to that matchup. See how things shake out as we get these matchups here. Things sort of even out a little bit. We get more and more competitive battles as the day goes on. Top scorers for each side of the equation for Hong Kong, Hing Yui Sang with seven goals and seven assists so far. On the other end of the equation, it's Jan Schmiegel with Team Poland. He has been a good helper for sure. Four assists in their win over Uganda yesterday. That was a 13-3 victory there as Poland advanced in this platinum bracket. At the face-off X, here for Team Poland and Team Japan as we begin play here once again. For Hong Kong, excuse me, Team Hong Kong. Apologize for that. They're looking at there's a lot of red on the screen, so <laughs> we get set and ready to go. Tom Eschen here with you on the call. Here for our second feature of the game, featured game of the day from the University of Limerick. Ka Chung Tong in there, winning 65% of the faceoff he has taken so far against Luca, and then Luca Steinert able to come and pick it up. So Hong Kong wins the opening faceoff. Team Poland dealing with some injuries. Christopher Kraponzana was a big reason for their face-off prowess. He was 21 for 28. Didn't play against Uganda. Not out there again here to start today. So it's Hong Kong in the white with the red letters. And then Team Poland in the red. Just want to make sure you're on the same page as I am with some of these similar style of colors. Different shades of red on the screen here. In one of the greenest places on earth. And that's Limerick, Ireland. Hong Kong a couple days ago beating Sweden to finish out group play unblemished, 10 to 4 in that game. They've done a great job scoring in double digits in each game and holding their opponent to five goals or less in each game. Liam Ferris up top now working here with Sang. To the right side they go. No shot clock here in international play. We'll play 15 minute running quarters. In the first, we'll stop the clock below 30. Sang takes the shot. It gets deflected out in front there. And Hong Kong has already taken a timeout, one of the earlier timeouts, apparently. Chadwick Fairfield didn't like what he saw. So we'll take a break as well, just a couple minutes into this first quarter here in Ireland. Hong Kong will take over here after the timeout by Chadwick Fairfell, the Brantford, Ontario native at the helm here. They look for a quick shot off the timeout. The ball comes way back out, but doesn't go over that center stripe. So we'll start once again. Chong, three goals, two assists in the four games so far here. He starts with it and now over to Glenn Toe. Toe did a great job feeding in their last game. There's a shot that's wide of the cage. Ryan Prelinski back in there today once again for Team Poland. He just played the first half against Uganda. Gave him a little bit of a break. 40% saves over the course of his tournament. Here's Glenn Toe. Toe going down low. 
They go back through the middle. Couple steps for Ferris, Toronto, Ontario native. Ferris with six goals, three assists in this tournament. There's a shot, and Toe gets the score. He didn't score at all against Sweden, so decides to take his first of the day. It's one to nothing, Hong Kong. Just a little bit too much space. He got a couple seconds to really rear back and put something together there. So Ferris gets an assist, his fourth of this competition. As we get back set and ready to go. If you were with us yesterday, these red jerseys for Poland have some different numbers than we had yesterday, so we will work to make sure we get to the right people in the right spots. But that's Jared Heller taking the face-offs as he did yesterday for Team Poland, in there for Kapanzano. Heller went eight for 14 yesterday at the X, but so far he's lost the first couple of the day. Little flip there to toe. Like I said, he had three assists yesterday or two days ago that was, against Sweden. Already starting off in the scoring column today, now with seven goals in this tournament. They get it to Michael Tan. Another shot, another score. This time it is Ferris. Two to nothing, Hong Kong right off the bat. Ferris about to be a junior at St. Joe's out of Toronto. And whatever was said in that timeout by Chadwick Fairfowl, apparently worked. He might have seen something in this Poland defense, talked it over with his boys, and just like that, Poland now takes a timeout. William McNamara going to talk things over. We'll be right back. Excellent start here for Hong Kong. They lead 2 to nothing. first couple minutes of play. Goals by Liam Ferris and Glenn Toe. As now the ensuing faceoff will come along here as Poland needs to win one. So Poland trying to change things up already here at the X. Samuel Zegartowski will take this with the pole. Zegartowski wearing number five today. That's pitched back out by Tong. And the fight fear for by the wings. Heller is there. Heller will come out with it. Heller, big kid, 6'4", 200 from Brookline, Massachusetts. Had a big game against Uganda, five goals and an assist. Did everything, was on the faceoff X. Got seven ground balls. Really did it all. Here's Jakob Piotrowski. Got a couple of goals in this tournament so far. There's Piotrowski. Now here's Heller. Heller going to the cage. And Heller, the shot off the back of the netting there. And the rebound now working its way through the crease as the ball now back, back into the stick of Hong Kong. And Shin Hao. Hao now works it into the clearing zone. So that was a one and done for Poland on that end. Always tough when you're trying to stop a run. First time we've seen Dash Sai with possession here today. Had a pretty highlight real goal in their last game against Sweden a couple days back. Sai with five goals, three assists in four games thus far in this U21 tournament. Work it over to Sang. Now through the middle they go. Toe has one of the goals for Hong Kong. Two early ones within the first couple minutes of play. Right off the bat here on field two. Nine minutes to go here in the first. Ferris looks. Tan shoots. Stopped by Prelinsky. Popped up. Ball rolling through the crease. Someone's in there. And that's going to be Hong Kong. 
So Prelinski making that play, and now we'll set things into motion once again here. Prelinski, Chicago, Florida, grew up in a couple different places as a kid. Might be tested again here. Quick pickup, though, there on that end by Samuel Novak. Novak with now four ground balls over the course of this tournament. I'm going to try and go and settle things in to their end. Like I said, they went two and two in their group. They only got one real win. They beat Kenya 17 to two. Lost to China and Wales. They had a forfeit win against Chinese Taipei, who dropped out of the tournament with some COVID issues. Now here's Poland on the offensive end. Here's Jan Schmiegel. He had four assists and two goals against Uganda yesterday. Did a great job of dictating and working this offense. Now let's see what Poland can do. Down to nothing. Here is Heller. Heller, the dodge. Heller. Look it in and back out. Maybe he had a chance if he went back in again. He does go back there. Great defense. They're applied by Steinert. Schmiegel looking for an opening. Got a couple defenders on him. Had some space there. Now he feeds the crease. The pass just off the stick, and it's ticked in. That's a goal. Timon Sornat. The, the hockey style goal, if you will. Two to one. Just kind of reached in there in the crease. Wojcik couldn't handle that pass to begin with, but the ball crossing the line before Sornat crossed his line. And an interesting goal there for Poland. Sornat had a hat trick against Uganda. That's his sixth goal so far here of this competition. The Vorklaw Poland native. He plays there for Kozniersi. Vorklaw, second oldest lacrosse club in Poland. Established in 2008, so they continue to try to grow the great game there. This is the first world championship appearance in the junior level for Team Poland. First as well here as Hong Kong gets to work. Two to one the score. So Poland gets one back. Key goal to kind of get themselves settled in now. Let's see if they can get themselves settled in defensively. There's a shot. Meeting it is Prelinski. Great movement there in the crease from the goalie. Weber International University, a criminal justice management major. Now they work it over to Wong. Prelinski's there as well. It'll restart here with Dash Sai, the Stanford sophomore, playing in the MCLA. Another shot. Toe is off the mark and restarting, though, once again for Hong Kong. They're getting their shots in here early on in this first. They'll re-begin here with Keith Sang. Sang with seven goals. Seven assists in his tournament. Ferris into the middle, and the ball bounces off the post. Carter Lee with the try. He had five goals against Sweden. Nine goals, two assists in his tournament. So this Hong Kong offense, like I said, double digits in each and every game when they get going. Especially in this format, double digits is pretty good with running quarters. Sai gets it out. Ferris looks at a shot. Doesn't take it. Now they work it back around. Toe. Continue to pass it around, trying to make something work. And, and Poland kind of had him stymied there. Good adjustment from this defense after the adjustment by the Hong Kong offense. So Poland takes over here, now working the clear. This is a quarterfinal matchup in this platinum bracket. 
The winner will take on the winner of Wales and Sweden. It's going to happen later on today, just a little less than two hours from now. Three hours from now. Three minutes, 40 seconds to go in the first quarter. So here's Poland with Haller on offense. And they will be content just to continue to work this clock, relax a little bit to start, and then get going. Schmiegel getting the screen from Prusek. Now works it on his own. That's Boise Prusek. There's two of them on the team. There's Kajetan and Boise. Boise had a goal yesterday. Back to Heller it goes. Heller working to that left hand. Up over the stick of Eddie Lee. First time I've been able to say his name today. Didn't play against Sweden. Gave him some time off there. Six saves against Netherlands. Five against Korea. So they've kind of rotated between him and Pak Long Chan so far. Schmeagle looking for an opening. Lowe continues to close the door. 2.30 to go in the first. Prusek guarded by the short stick, Howe. Back into the stick it goes of Heller. Brookline, Massachusetts, Brimmer and May School, Haverford College will be a senior. He tries to get his hands free. And a run out will be won by the Polish. Two minutes to go here in the first. Two to one now the score. We've kind of settled things down after a couple of early Hong Kong goals. Sornat working his way through. A bulldog, but met with one. Lee, scramble in front. Can they get another garbage goal? They cannot. Xi Shang Lee able to come up with it. For his third ground ball of the tournament. And now the try on the clear. How about that hustle play on the sideline, keeping possession? I think that was Tinshu Low there. Now here's Dash Sai. 6'2, 194. Pretty big kid. 21 goals, five assists this past year for Stanford in that MCLA. Son of Joe Sai, of course. Sister also plays at Stanford for the women's team. Played in the World Championships in Towson this year as well. Two to one, our score. It's in the stick of Hayden Chung. Plays in the Hong Kong Men's Super League. Dished into the middle, gets through a couple of sticks. Now it's down on the ground. Picked up by Ferris. Ferris looks to feed. Picked off by Perlinski. Great anticipation and out. Here he comes. He'll continue to roll here into the offensive zone. He gets checked pretty hard by Ferris and now picked up again by Heller. Definitely had Perlinski's back there. Now Heller will look in. Heller the backhand. And call that a shot. No matter what, it is Hong Kong possession. Six seconds to go in the first. And I think Hong Kong will just work this clock down to its expiration. But a good first 15 minutes in the books. Hong Kong, an early couple goals. Poland settling in, getting one of their own. It's 2-1 heading to the second quarter here at the University of Limerick. The World Across Men's U21 Championships on LAC Sports Network. Welcome back to the University of Limerick, Ireland's sporting campus along the shores of the River Shannon is Limerick, Ireland. Platinum bracket quarterfinals taking place here today as they are the championship bracket as well. This the fourth game of the day. We've already had an Australia comeback win over Japan, a Korea comeback win over Latvia, Canada dominating over Ireland, and now it is Hong Kong, a 2-1 lead over Poland as we begin the second period here. Goals by Ferris and Toe. Sornat, little hockey goal there for Team Poland. 
Harris had it briefly, though, after the opening faceoff. Picked up, though, by Poland. Schmiegel, Christoph Schmiegel. And they call a cross check there against Hong Kong. So Poland gets a possession here. And they'll get an opportunity with a man up to tie this ball game. A one minute penalty. Score remains Hong Kong China two, Poland one. Let's see what the Poland man up offense looks like here. An early 2 0 hole that they look are looking to completely erase here in the second quarter. In it, a little more time. Gives them an opportunity to maybe see if they can find something. 30 now on the clock. Over to Prusek. Prusek takes the shot and he scores. Little low release from Boise Prusek. It's 2-2. Two to two. Man up goal is good. Tying up the game at two apiece. See a good job there waiting Jan Schmiegel. He, such a great eye and feel. His awareness. We've really noticed that these last couple days, Schmiegel. Great feel for what's going on around him. Dish to Prusek to get the score. Teams are back to equal strength. So back at even strength here. Two to two, also even score. Tong is back in there, going up against Team Poland. Segartowski was the one who had the infraction. He went in to take that face off. Hasn't taken a ton here for Poland over the course of this tournament, but now Hong Kong will get themselves a possession. In the stick right now of Sang. Big fan of Alexander Ovechkin. Came up playing hockey in Hong Kong. Now it's in the stick of Toe. Toe gets checked away. Good job there by Zegartovsky. This makes it a little bit tougher on him. Out to Ferris though. Prilinski another save. Rebound back in front, another save by Prilinski. And we have an injury timeout here. The ball, I think there might have been a deflection in front. And that's what caused this injury, because the ball was flying around. Prilinski, I thought, got ahead of one of, at least one of the two. As you see, the respect by both sides taking a knee here. So, well, let's see. We'll get another look here for a moment. And I think that did happen with the block shot. Patrick Hogan, the one who was able to get in front of that. So, while Hogan is down, we'll step aside. It's 2-2 two to two here in the second quarter. So, Hogan came jogging off after his body block of the ball. Hopefully, he'll be okay. Maybe get some ice on there and come back into this game. So... Back into the action we go. Davi Zhapkan has replaced him out there. Chung for Hong Kong, looking to move. Get it all the way around on top to Ferris. Ferris, couple steps. Ferris finding some space, continuing to do so. Good recovery defense by Poland there. Closing that gap. Zagartowski again. Hong Kong staying patient, continuing to work it. Ferris. You can see how aware they are of him. They've been sliding quickly. Toe. Pass right over the top. They'll continue. Work it around the middle. Now into the front right there in the crease. And Perlinski makes a nice save again. Nice start for the Poland goalie. First one off the thigh. The second one deflected into a stick. He's made a couple of tough saves early on. 
Right now the count, six to seven. From what I've ledgered so far. And we're just in the second quarter. Schmiegel, Kristoff Schmiegel works his way free. Now Poland working it on offense. Sornet has one of the goals. 10 minutes to go in the first half. Two to two, the score. Interesting. Hong Kong scored within the first four minutes. Haven't scored since. Almost a quarter of game time without a goal now for them. Here's Jan Schmiegel. He'll initiate. And then back out, guarded by Tin Shu Lo. How about Lo doing a lot of work here? Schmiegel cannot find any room for air. Back to Heller it goes. Heller. Back to his right. Finds an opening. The check behind him. He can't get the goal. Steinert was all up in him. Loved what Steinert had to say you know, for Hong Kong. Talked about the women's performance at Towson. And he said, we want to build off of that and give it our all in Ireland. So these national teams, definitely plenty of camaraderie with all these competitions going on throughout this summer. You know, that definitely lends itself to that. You know, see that with Team Japan, for sure. Just barely missing out on their second ever semifinal today. Australia, what a run they made in that fourth. They punched their ticket to the semis, but Japan with a lead in that fourth quarter. And up here for Poland. Little backhand shot from Heller. Backed up by the Polish. Grabowski was there, and now we're back to six on six lacrosse. 2-2 two -two remains the score. Schmiegel. Schmiegel trying to turn that corner. There's not letting him do it. Victor Shaw. But defense. Now it'll be Kristoff Schmiegel's turn. Dishes it back out to Jan. They work it around the top. Heller. Yeah, this is not an easy Hong Kong defense to make their way through, is it? You've seen a lot of tries for Poland here to have some individual dodges. And Hong Kong's been with every step of the way. Seven thirty-five to go. Timeout here on the field. Poland will talk things over. Two to two, our score in Ireland. Welcome back here in just a moment. We'll get you back to that second quarter of play. Black Sports Network's coverage of the U21 Men's World Lacrosse Championship continues all day long. Join us for our third featured game of the day, the Wales Sweden matchup. That gets underway at 1 p.m. Eastern. The winner of this game plays the winner of that game. I'll be on the call for that one too. You can watch the game live from Limerick on any of our digital platforms. Go to laxsn.com for the list of links, or you can watch the games right there, laxsn.com. We already saw a comeback by Korea over Latvia today. Korea was down 5-1 at one point in that game. They came all the way back to win. They'll take on Netherlands in the other half of the semifinals in the platinum bracket. And now one of these teams looking to punch their ticket to be the second team, the third team, that is, to punch their ticket to the semis. So Poland unable to solve the Hong Kong defense there, looking maybe to try something new with William McNamara, former Team Poland national player. Coaches at York High School in Maine. Now here in Limerick. They try to get things going. Here's Boise Prusak. He has a goal. They work it over to Heller. He's usually the guy. Five goals yesterday, eight in the tournament. Goes into the middle. Prusek looking to get that left off, and it's stopped by Eddie Lee. Poland restarts. A shot there, just in close. A lot of contact. 
Lee was there, but Poland gets it back again. Drabowski. Been pretty active here today. Three goals and an assist in the tournament. Was on the U-20 World Championship European team in Prague. The European World Championship, that is. Now to initiate, once again, Waje Prusik. That probably was what was talked about by McNamara. Try to get Prusik loose in that huddle. Now Jan Schmiegel finds an opening. Deflected away once again by Lee. Backed up by Poland again. I don't think that Hong Kong liked that call very much. Closest to the ball when Nick goes out is the rule. Now Prusik from X. Trying to take advantage of that short stick matchup, it appears. He's got actually the opposing face-off man, Ka Chung Tong, against him. Trying to use some of that skill and size is Prusek. Really not doing much just yet. Quick slide, changes things up. He looks to feed the crease. Sornat was there, couldn't find him. And a nice pickup there by Heller. Actually, a good job, too, by saying that he was tiptoeing that center line not to go off sides. Poland, though, here with possession. Five minutes, maybe. Five so minutes to five go minutes. in the half. Score remains two to two. Hong Kong off the board since the opening minutes. Heller, shot fake, pass fake. Hit up top, drops it, picks it back up. Shoot, save by Lee. He's had some big games at Westminster School in Stansbury, Connecticut. And you can see why. Hong Kong tried to move down quickly there, maybe get something in transition to break this cold st stretch they're in, but throw it away. 4.20 to go now in the half. Seems to be another competitive bracket battle here. Why we all separate everybody after group play. You mix up some of these groups, these teams that played each other, and now see what it looks like outside of the comfort of group play, I guess you could call it. Three minutes, 50 seconds. Three, Less 50 than four to play here in the second quarter. Hong Kong sideline wanting a little bit more pressure here. They've, they've done a good job, it feels like. They haven't really given, given Polska a lot of room for error. Three minutes, 30 seconds, 330. Here's Christoph Schmiegel. It's pushed in the back as he goes to feed. And that will be in the stick of Lee again. So a good job by Hong Kong defensively. Let's see if they can get anything going here. Clearing offense. You can just feel the tension a little bit higher here today. And you know, we had some long days to start this tournament in, in the heat, that is. Three minutes, three minutes remaining. You could feel it, uh, you know, impacting these players, but now we're a lot fresher, it feels. Even, the, even though we're in day eight of this tournament, it's the weather has really turned and we're in the high 60s here today. Sun is shining. There is some rain that is going to be moving in overnight tonight. We'll see how that impacts play tomorrow. But we do have a beautiful day today. Toe over to Wong. Back to Toe. 2.30 to go in the second quarter. Hong Kong calmly working this possession. It's now Liam Ferris with the ball. Liam Ferris. Oh, good look. Find and a save. Prilinski makes another seven saves today. Two minutes to go. We'll stop the clock below 30 in the second. Rusek trying to clear. He does get it into the, his zone, but it's turned immediately back over. With 
And I don't think Chadwick Fairfowl wanted a, another botched transition opportunity. So even though they had one, not happening. Timeout, Hong Kong. 2-2, two -two, tie ball game. Welcome back here to the University of Limerick. Some highlights from the first half of play. Some great shots, some great plays, some great saves. Defense dictating the action here. It's 2-2. Two two. Hong Kong and Poland here in the platinum bracket in their quarterfinal matchup. The winner going on to play the winner of Wales and Sweden, which will happen in just a little more than two hours from right now. About two hours, 15 minutes already at another great matchup between Korea and Latvia on this field. Looks like shaping up to be another good one. You know me, you know I love some good defense and that's what we've had here so far today. Amazing to watch these defenses work. Another shot for Toe. Into the stick of Prelinsky it goes. And we've had some great goalie performances as well today. Man, that Latvian goalie had himself a day with 20 saves in the losing effort. Ryan Richters. One of the best goalie performances of the tournament. He was peppered with shots all day. Just the offense couldn't do enough to support him. And Korea moving on. They'll play Netherlands in the semifinals. There's a hit to the head. Somehow keeping possession as he rolls around is Victor Shaw, and that'll be a penalty. Actually, it was Schmiegel who kept the possession. Excuse me there. As he was hit hard. A 30-second penalty is going to be called, and Poland gets an opportunity to man up. Tie ball game in this second quarter. Not much time to go here. Last 30 seconds of play. Looks like they're probably going to get the last possession here with a man up. 30 seconds for everything. Coming out of the box is Schmiegel. Pass is botched. That could prove costly, and it does. Poland unable to capitalize here at the end of the first half, but a well-played first half, a defensive battle. Two to two is our score. Ferris and Toe for Hong Kong. Sornat, Prusek, their goals. It's all knotted up. Final 30 minutes coming your way after halftime here at the World of Cross Men's U21 Championship on LAC Sports Network. Third quarter just underway here in Limerick. This platinum bracket quarterfinal matchup, a close one. Two to two after the first 30 minutes. The winner moving on to the platinum semifinals here tomorrow. They'll take on the winner of Wales and Sweden. It's Hong Kong who wins the opening faceoff. They went three for five in the first half. Tong went three for five on his own there for Hong Kong. Now they take on this Poland defense. I, I think it's really interesting. Hong Kong, of course they played in Group E, a little bit different competition there compared to Group D, but what, what have you. I mean, they scored in double digits and sometimes made it look easy offensively. Poland's made it very tough after those two first goals that Hong Kong scored. So those all, those all happened within the first four minutes of the game. Poland's done a great job ever since. So it's 2-2. Two to two. A defensive battle here in platinum play. Hong Kong with possession. Couple steps there for Chung. And how about Ryan Prilinski? He made nine saves in that first half. If you give him one there, that's double digits already, just seconds into this third quarter. Jared Heller has been kept off the score sheet today. It's been Sornat and Prusek. Boise Prusek for Poland with the goals. Hong Kong got one from Ferris, one from Toe in their first half. Like I said, this has been a tension-filled affair that feels like it's been rising here over the course of the day. This is our fourth contest of the game in Ireland. Australia and Canada wins the championship bracket. Korea, a win here in the platinum bracket. 
Still more to come here today. Jan Schmiegel. Owens tried a lot of individual one-on-one -on -one dodging, and Hong Kong has not allowed an inch. That was low with the defense there. Here's Steinert doing a good job of himself. St. Paul's School, but also in Hong Kong, goes the Chinese International School there. Couple fakes for Jan. Back out we go. Over to Heller. Heller looking to shoot under duress and scores. Poland takes a 3-2 lead. He's got that big body, 6'4", 200. That's what you need it for. That's his ninth goal of this tournament. And Poland, who was down 2-0, takes a 3-2 lead. Can't really fault Steiner for that defense. Heller just found himself a whisper of space and found the back of the net in doing so. Entering his fourth year at Haverford College. Scored a couple of goals last season and obviously hoping this tournament can prime him to get back into those collegiate ranks here in fall ball, which begins in just a little bit here, just a couple weeks. Everybody reports back to campus. It's almost like you probably, for a lot of these kids, you go back to the real world, if you will. This has to be, and it is, as they said, it's, it's a dream to come out here and compete and just live lacrosse every single day. Poland wins the faceoff. Can't keep it in their zone, though, but there will be a whistle that corresponds with that. Penalty coming. Slashing penalty on Liam Ferris. One minute penalty at that. Interestingly enough, Liam Ferris, one of the more important players, especially offensively for Hong Kong, does it on both ends, as you see here. That is his third penalty today. Five, and you're out. So he has to be a little more careful here moving in forward. Shot again for Heller, tried to do it again. The feed to the middle, the turn off the crossbar. Christoph Schmiegel just missed. And Poland will throw it away. Big stop for Hong Kong on the man down. And they'll be content to let the final seconds of the penalty tick off. Less than 10 minutes to go here in this third quarter. Three to two is the score. Teams are back to equal strength. Back to even strength we go. Hong Kong, like we talked about, at times has shown pretty dynamic offense. They've been stopped by Prilinski 10 times today. Poland's been aggressive, you know, not allowing Hong, Hong Kong to really step into some of these shots that you might normally see on the catch. And then there's a little bit of space there. Another stop by Prilinski. Sang took a look. Michael Tan, a little scoop over there to Dash Sai. Dash looks in, back out to toe. That pass goes, gets away from Sai. He'll have to go track it down. A couple bodies go down. Sai able to stay in, gets hit in the face. Amidst all that by Tresnevsky. And then now he takes a shot. Prielinski gobbles it home, doesn't allow a rebound either. How about the goalie play we've had here in the platinum bracket today? Good catch there on the clear by Wojcik. Now picked back up by Zegartowski. Go, 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 
and Poland will calm things down and now get an offensive possession of their own. Eight minutes to go in this third quarter. Just past the top of the hour. Just past four o'clock local time here in Ireland. As Heller gets a step, shoots with the left and he scores. Once with the right, the next with the left, four to two, Poland. Two today for Heller, following up a five goal performance yesterday. Man, and see the skill with both hands. Heller getting the job done. Comes from a sports family. Great grandfather was a three sport athlete, all American at Santa Clara. He, he also, Heller himself, high school basketball, soccer player, coming on up and now, of course, lacrosse in college, entering his fourth year. So 4-2. Key face off here, Hong Kong trying to pick it up. Steiner does, tiptoes the sideline. You get it back in through Ferris. Now you hear that Poland sideline, they're really into it, trying to get the defense that maybe force another T.O. Four to two, Poland has scored four straight here. Allowed the first two in within the first four minutes, but since then, they have been in one way or another kind of in control of this team. You know, they've had the upper hand. I don't know about control, either team having full control, but no one's been in control of the Hong Kong offense. You can say that for sure. Harris now surveys. They go across the field, little skip past the toe. He can't pick it up. There's a push. Piotrowski got a little too aggressive there. And just that push in the back. Uh, timeout for Hong Kong. They'll talk things over here as they look to get their offense going. Poland, a 4-2 lead in the third quarter of the Platinum Bracket on LSN. Be sure to check out a new edition of the Lacrosse Now podcast every week. This week, I'll sit down with former U19 Team USA member and PLL Water Dogs midfielder Ryan Conrad. Make sure to tune in on YouTube, Black Sports Network, every Tuesday night, and then wherever you get your podcasts, the audio version as well. So here comes Hong Kong, just out of the timeout. Even strength, six on six lacrosse. That pass gets away. They've just been a little bit discombobulated today against this Poland defense. We approach about five minutes to go here in the third quarter. Dash Sai gets it back. He and Ferris playing hot potato. Chadwick Fairfell now talking things over in that last time out. See if they can find a spark here. Pirlinski snuffed anything out until now. The streak finally broken as Dash gets one in. Four to three. That's his sixth goal of the tournament. See where the crack was in the defense. Oh, just a little bit of the slough off, and he was finally able to find some space, get a good shot on Prelinsky there. So he has scored in each and every game, has Dash Sai. So the score now, four to three. Face off, one going forward by Kang Chung Tong. One of the best here of this tournament. Couple passes and another score, it's tied. Carter Lee. Carter Lee's 10th goal here in Ireland. Tong starts it, Lee finishes it. Spent some time in Hong Kong growing up, Calgary, Alberta, Canada as well. He'll be a senior this year. And that forces a Poland timeout. 4-4 the score, Hong Kong right back in it. 
I guess you could say Hong Kong scoring in bunches here today. Their first two goals came within a minute and 30 seconds of each other. Their last two also come a minute and 30 seconds within each other. So it's four to four. It was four to two. It felt like just a few seconds ago. Hong Kong has tied it back up. The pullback out there for Poland against Tong Zegartowski. Tong has been tough to crack for everybody he's faced thus far. Bakalian did a pretty good job for Sweden against him a couple days ago. But other than that, Tong has really done a good job at the X. Ground ball pick up, Heller. Here comes Heller back the other way. And he gets it taken away. Just couldn't make his way through and Keith Sang able to come up with that cause turnover and ground ball. So Hong Kong, who down 4-2, now tied, looking to go up here. Three minutes to play in the third. A little bit of a hidden ball effort there. Ferris, he didn't fool me. I had a better look at it than most <laughs> with this angle. <laughs> the feed down low. Now over to Carter Lee. The end of the middle, another save for Prilinski. Tan had the shot. Prilinski makes his 11th save. Prilinski trying to figure out if he wants to give it to Christoph Schmiegel. They'll give it to Heller. Heller and Schmiegel. Good stop there for Poland coming out. Two minutes to go here in the third. Poland with the ball offensively. They've worked through Heller in the second half. Kind of taken upon his shoulders. Waze Prusek. Now back out to Wojcik. to go here in this third. Four to four the score. Winner moving on to the Platinum semifinals. Opportunity, another step towards 13th place. Which in the Platinum bracket, a coveted position. Rusek trying to solve how here. Stall warning there on this side, so that means Poland can't let it out. 45 seconds to go in the quarter. Prusik now tries to initiate into the stick of Schmiegel. Schmiegel into the middle. Good help defense by the Hong Kong. Schmiegel has to come back out. Don't forget, can't get by the, can't go past that white line. Now Schmiegel. Here comes the slide, works his way through, and they're going to be calling him for a ward. Extended that left arm a bit, and after all that, Hong Kong gets the ball back. Fifteen seconds to go in the third. See if Hong Kong can get one more. Ferris looks at it. Dangerous, as always, with the left, bouncer. Prelinski makes the stop as time expires. So we ended the second tied at two. We end the third tied at four. 15 minutes to play between Hong Kong and Poland here on LAC Sports Network. A wonderful matchup here between Poland and Hong Kong. We'll conclude here maybe in the fourth quarter. We already had OT on this field earlier today. That was between Korea and Latvia. Korea winning it in overtime. It's four to four as we head into the fourth here, the final 15 minutes of play. Big day for Team Poland and their goalie, Ryan Prilinski. He has made 11 saves thus far. Couple of goals in that third from Jared Heller. 
Hong Kong, meanwhile, thundering back after getting down 4-2. to two. Carter Lee, Liam Ferris with a couple of goals. And Dash Sai has one as well here today. He also has an assist to add to that. We go to the face-off X. Six for eight today is Ka Chung Tong. He's taking most of them. Going up against the poles, Egartovsky here. And it's won by Tong. Tong, by the way, his sports icon, Dennis Rodman. Kind of perfect for a face-off guy, right? Does all the, the little things necessary to, to win. And you need a guy like that on a team. His quote going into the tournament, by the way, Tong, winning isn't everything, but desiring to win is. Love that concept. Here's Toe. That ball past the stick of Chung. That's going to go out of bounds. So Hong Kong turns it over in their first possession of the fourth quarter. Winner of this game will take on the winner of Wales and Sweden. Wales and Sweden will start in just less than two hours from right now. Korea and Netherlands are both on the other side of the semifinal. Netherlands getting there yesterday via an awesome game, a win against China. As Heller will now bring this into the offensive zone. He'll make some changes and get things settled and ready to go here. Talked about Poland and trying to win those individual matchups. Haven't had many wins, but when they have, it's been Heller that's done so. Vlaze Prusek. Right now they do have Heller matched up a short stick on him, Chung. Chung on the Hong Kong Men's Super League team. Heller now going to isolate. Going to work, shoot the jump shot and score. It's all Jared Heller for Poland. And right now it's all they need. It's 5-4. to four. Using that size. He's 6'4", 200 pounds, give or take. And just able to rise up there, you know, get a couple inches of elevation going high to low. And Poland takes a one-goal lead in the fourth. Hat trick for Heller. 5-4 in favor of Poland. 12 minutes, 43 seconds. You know, and of course, Hong Kong turning it over in their first possession gave Poland a chance to really settle in comfortably. Tie game. Another big face off here. Chipped out by Tong, looking for his wing. He finds his wing in Ferris. Ferris has done a great job as a face off wing here. He does a little bit of everything, doesn't he, for this team? Does Liam. Plays in Canada Junior A. About to enter his. Third year at St. Joe's, played in the game last year. Flag down here right now. So Hong Kong with a possession and then maybe a man up after that. We'll see. Feels like this is going to be tight right into the end, doesn't it? We'll stop the clock once we get below two minutes here. Don't forget. Might need to. Ferris, little scoop pass on the inside, low. Man, made a nice move to try and find himself free. The flag will now be called. A slash against Christoph Schmiegel. So Hong Kong will go a man up for a minute, down one in the fourth quarter. Getting interesting. I guess it stays interesting. Ferris, big shot, score, ties it. Liam Ferris, two goals today. With 11 minutes, five seconds remaining in the quarter. Well, that didn't take long uh, of that minute. 35 seconds remain in the penalty. And that will be locked in, so. Hong Kong, if they can come and win this faceoff, will still have some time to work after getting an early one here. So Ferris gets his second goal. Now is eight over the course of this tournament. Big goal there. 5-5 five, five the score. Tong wins the clamp again, flips it out. And there is, who else? It is Liam Ferris. How about that work between the faceoff man and his wing? 
That's a team right there. You know, some of these teams didn't have a whole lot of time to work together. Of course, that year of 2020, no one really got to get together in any aspect of life, that is. And you, know, you might think, oh, six years is a long time for these teams to work and mold together. But really, with the different iterations of these rosters, depending on age, it's been a lot of changes these last couple of years. It's been who has acclimated the quickest to each other that's been the most successful so far. Another shot, low score. That's Dash Sai. His second gives Hong Kong a 6-5 lead. So they really take advantage here. They find Dash. He goes low, he scores. And Hong Kong retakes their lead. Back and forth we go. 6.45 to go here in the fourth quarter. Of course, the Sai family has invested so much in lacrosse, and you, you know what uh, I'd imagine what Joe Sai has invested, but how about, you know, the children of the Sai family uh, and their love of the game and continuing to work and work their way up through their national teams at the collegiate level. Something to watch there, Tong coming up a little lame after going too early on that faceoff. Talked about how impactful he can be. I'll take a look at that on the sideline. Bash has a sister, Alex, and a brother, brother, Jacob, all invested and love the sport themselves. There's a pass that gets away from Team Poland. Hong Kong starting to feel it a little bit here. That was deflected away, excuse me. They've got a big old roar from the sideline. Couple passes on the inside, it's tied again. Christoph Schmiegel, first of the day, third of the tournament. So Kristoff gets the score. Back to 6-6 six, six we go. Let's see how Tong is feeling as he comes back out. 7.40 to go in the game. Excuse me, I had misspoken earlier when I said there were 6.40. It's 7.40. Almost like they added some time. So Tong is back in there. Let's see how he does. Zegertovsky, the pole battling him. And it's Zegertovsky who was able to come out with it. How about that? He hadn't taken a face off in this tournament prior to today. But part of the face off and maybe not always showing up in the stats is can you keep it in your offensive end? Poland does not do that here. Hong Kong takes it away and now they will take possession. A tie game, six to six. It's been fun. By the way, Jan Schmiegel got the assist on that to Kristoff. A couple of Warclaw Poland guys. Jan, of course, part of that world championship team that play, competed in those world championships for Poland a few years ago in 2018. One of the older members here in Ireland which is applicable here in Groups D&E. Ferris with a quick look there, and now a quick closeout by Schmiegel. Back to Ferris, who took a look. Now over to Toe, feeds the crease. Carter Lee, he can explode. Five goals yesterday. Out to Ferris, and a save by Prilinski. That was a beauty. 13 saves for Ryan Prilinski. 5.50 to go. What a battle here in this platinum bracket. Couple steps into Lee. Another body save by Prilinski. Two for one possession. 13 and 14. 
huge, huge plays at this juncture. Berlinski walking very deliberately here. <laughs> Tomley making sure he gets it into the right hands, the right stick. Five minutes remaining. Five, Five minutes, minutes to go here. That popped and Zegartowski able to go and gobble that up before it went outside the field of play. Picked up here by Blaje Prusek. Six to six, our score. Hong Kong took the lead. Poland stole it away. Now it's a tie game. Grabowski couldn't get it on the first time around. Now tries to do it the second. And that's deflected off of the stick of Blage and Hong Kong just trying to get their sticks in there does a good job of creating a turnover. Steiner now brings it into the offensive zone for Hong Kong. As a reminder, it's Michael Tan, Liam Ferris. Ferris with two goals and an assist today. Hong Kong and Team Poland looking to punch their ticket into the Platinum Bracket semifinals. Tan over to toe. Couple steps for Dash Sai. He gives his team the lead again with a hat trick. Seven to six. That's the hot spot for Dash Sai. His biggest game of the tournament thus far. Now with eight goals over the course of play in his fifth game. And Dash Sai has Hong Kong up one. Couple minutes to go in the fourth. Faceoffs getting bigger and bigger here. 10 for 14 is Tong. He goes up against Heller here in this situation. Heller today, 0 for 4. And Tong wins another one briefly. Did not come up with a ground ball after winning the clamp. It's Heller who actually ended up with it. So Poland with possession, down one, fourth quarter. Heller has been the guy for Poland. He's won the individual matchup today. He's got Ferris on him here. Two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Talk about the height for Heller, about four inches he has in this matchup. Going to work that jump shot, stopped by Lee. Heller tried low again. Lee was there to stop him. Don't forget, there is no shot clock. Hong Kong will look to clear, get it into their side safely, and now Poland's going to have to start being a little more chaotic on defense because Hong Kong content. Let the clock run here. Let's see when they start calling them in and you can see imploring his mates is Zegartowski. Sang now with possession, he's being hounded by Novak. With Novak is Tong. Excuse me, with Novak is Matuzak. And the ball does jar free. Here comes Dash. And it's a push on Hong Kong. They turn it over. Back to pulling it goes. Interference the call. Poland has taken a timeout, but they get the ball back. They're down one. About 90 seconds to play here in the fourth quarter. 
Game to be decided after this. Four and six. Hong Kong seven. William McNamara talking things over, former national team player. And now Poland with possession, down one in the fourth. They thundered back from a 2-0 deficit to take the lead. They scored four goals in a row. But Hong Kong has righted their ship. They have the lead. Dash Sai with a hat trick for them today, giving them the lead. Three Hong Kong players surrounding Christoph Schmiegel. Gets it to the open man. Stick check from Steiner. 30 seconds. 30 seconds to go. Picked up by Schmeigel. Hong Kong staying physical defensively here. Carter Lee able to pick it up and Schmeigel is down. He will limp off. They stop the clock. 18 seconds. 18 seconds raised. 18, 18 seconds. seconds to go. Time on. One goal game. 10 seconds on the clock. Shot saved by Lee. Stanek went for the tie, and Lee will launch. An illegal, illegal procedure call against Hong Kong. There's one second on the clock. So if you're uh, Poland, you get it behind the cage here, and really, really nothing you can do. Hong Kong, who relinquished their lead. It appears that they will head into the Platinum Semifinals. One more shot and time expires. What a battle. Hong Kong advances to the Platinum Bracket Semis, seven to six. Lee making the save to clinch it. Dash Sai, the goal to win it in the fourth. It'll be Hong Kong against the winner of Wales and Sweden to fill out the semis of this Platinum Bracket. You'll see the Wales and Sweden game in less than 90 minutes right here on LAX Sports Network. That'll do it for our coverage for now from the University of Limerick for the rest of our team. I'm Tom Eschen. Thanks for watching another great game. We'll see you in a little bit.